Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, I want to talk about dealing with people that it's hard to deal with. <laughs> uh, there's a, in, in my world, communications is a big thing. And the reason is, I deal with foreign languages. And in foreign languages, uh, and that I can't hear, my hearing is not real good. So uh, communication is really big. But in foreign languages, not only I can't speak foreign languages, when they are translated, they don't come out with the same meaning. And uh, so, uh, when you try to uh, make decisions based on uh, bad communications, you're going to make bad decisions. And uh, it's easy enough to say, well, you know, don't make any decision. But when you don't make decisions, you don't get things done. I don't know what this car going on down here. We've got the wind going. It's got a little, little chilly too. Let's see if I can get over here out of the wind. Uh, I say I don't know what. It looks pretty dusty out there. I don't know if you can see it out there. But, uh, we don't have smog and stuff here. We're up in the mountains. Uh, we've got the uh, uh, Pacific on one side and uh, the, on the Gulf. It won't be the Gulf, I guess it'll be the Atlantic on the other side, so, you know, everything just blows off to the ocean. But I don't know what's going on here. Uh, but uh, when you're trying to make decisions, uh, and you make decisions based on the information that you have at hand, so to make a good decision, you have to uh, investigate and try to... Uh, uh, get all the information you can so then you can come out with a good uh, uh, decision. Uh, this is why uh, uh, the news, uh, that's all messed up because like I say, they, they're they not really looking for all the information before they tell you something. They just, they slant it one way and if, if they're thinking that way, then that's the way they're going to, that's the way they're going to see it and they don't bother to look deeper into it. So, uh, but it's, it, it applies the same thing. Uh, okay, like say, right now I'm down in Central America. I don't speak Spanish. So, I try to keep all of the, the conversation uh, light and uh, happy and this type of stuff. You know, I don't want, you know, uh, call somebody... Uh, some kind of a name and it turns out to be a, a bad name and <laughs> you know when you translate it translates into something bad so uh, you know it's 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 a little different you really got to watch what you say and uh, but at the same time I'm, I'm in business I do business and it's really difficult to do business in foreign lands because of the communications uh, uh, problems that, that you have. Uh, not only you have words that uh, have mixed meanings, uh, actions, uh, the way you carry yourself, the way you do things will say something different. It's like I say, I'm in the body language. I use a lot of body language. So I try to keep my body language more humorous than other things. That's why I, I smile a lot. I, I smile a lot. I try to uh, make people happy and feel good first thing. And uh, that's why one of the reasons why uh, first thing I do is I shake hands. I give them a big smile and I shake their hands and, uh, you know, I talk funny. So then automatically they know uh, I don't speak the language. So they are ready. So when I... Uh, act different or uh, say something that's translated funny and, and stuff like that they don't take offense 
and uh, but there's times that I got to do business and man it's tough and um, I say uh, when I don't uh, sometimes people have communications problems and they do it on purpose and um, uh, I'll give you a really good example and that is using the old man card I do that every once in a while uh, I'll be oh what I don't understand huh what? Yeah, see like that I do the old man card he's old and stupid doesn't know what's going on so uh, but I don't do that and it comes a business and when I am doing business I don't want any of those kind of I don't understand kind of stuff uh, when in business if you don't understand something you say you don't understand something um, uh, is an employee if I ask an employee to do something and they say okay no problem and it turns out to be a problem they don't know how to do what it was I, what that was asked of them that is a problem so uh, what you do is you say well I don't know how to do that or I'm gonna need some help on doing that or you, you, you know say something you don't say yeah no problem and then there's a big problem so um, so and then when you when you're dealing with people that do this and they don't try to correct it uh, that's not a good thing and um, so if you got an employee that's continually doing this kind of stuff, you get rid of them. Uh, I tr normally try to move them from one doing one kind of thing to something else, but maybe it's not in their their personality or their skill set or you know whatever. So I move them to something else, and make it a little bit easier for them to because they've got to figure out how to do things. That's what's good about uh, entry jobs you know, McDonald's and stuff like that, they learn how to take responsibility, personal responsibility. Okay, you turn the hamburger over, you know, or, you know, you you put A, B, and C into the bag. No D, I didn't mention D, so you just A, B, and C. So that's how they learn. So by the time you get to the part with the business, it's the same thing in business. Uh, some people uh, know the business. And then so then they can get things done. Some people don't know the business and they end up screwing things up. And uh, it, all of these things we do by choice. We're, we're you know, like a job or like say going into business. And, but you still have the same thing going on in a relationship. When you have a relationship, a lot of times the people involved in the relationship don't don't really understand what's expected of them in this relationship and I think that's why there's so many divorces and stuff like that uh, uh, then I were right back to what I was talking about culture when you when you have a culture they that culture knows what to do now when you start mixing the cultures then everybody gets all mixed up nobody knows what's expected of them and it gets a little bit, uh, iffy so, uh, but uh, but I say so. What I'm getting at is when you are uh, when you are expected to do something, make sure you understand what it is that needs to be done. And if you're not capable, the best thing to do is say something. And if it's somebody like me, if you're not capable, well, what can we do to get you capable? because I want to surround myself with capable people. But not everybody's like me. Uh, some people, they want people that are already capable. They're not looking to help others uh, improve themselves. Because to me, if I help you improve yourself, you're gonna improve on me. And, but some people just think of themselves, and so they, I'm looking for somebody that knows this, this, and this, and if you can't do that, I don't want you, I don't want you around me. And uh, uh, so these are things that you got to be considering about on either side. 
uh, if you're expecting something, make sure that the people understand what, what's expected of them. And uh, if, in, in, if you are expected to know something, make sure you either know it or know where you can learn more about it. But be honest and upfront about all this. When you're not, it's time to cut them off. Get away. If when, when people will not face their own, and I don't even like to call it like this, but their own demons, their own demons are, or their own, not really a demon, it'd be a, their own a shortness of their own abilities and stuff. They can't face the fact that they are not capable. And uh, that's not a good thing. And so be ready to cut them off uh, because, like I say, these kind of people will hurt you in the long run. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.